Welcome back friends to Max Q Barbecue. My name is Craig and today we're going to be doing Texas Hot Link Sausage. We have a five pound uh, bottom round roast which we're going to cut up and cube up and grind up and mix in a little beef tallow and fat and we're going to make some Texas Hot Gut Sausage. So stick around. Friends, let's get our beef bottom round roast opened up and cubed up and sliced up and uh, so we can get it ready for grinding. So we got that package away. Get it out here on our cutting board and we're going to start by cutting it into some steaks. About one inch thick, that way we can uh, Make it easier to go ahead and cube this up. Ready? We'll start with this end piece and make our little cubes. Got a mixing bowl here. Throw it in there. And we want our fat as well, because we're gonna add a little bit of fat to this to give it about a 30% fat content. Flip this. Cubes are a little big to go down through my grinder. Don't want to overtax the grinder too much. It's, it's like most backyard cooks have. It's just a uh, little kitchen aid, so I'm gonna take that gristly fat off. Split this one in half. All right, that's good size for grinding. So we'll go ahead and finish this up. And we'll see you back when we put it in the freezer. Okay, friends, we got our beef all cubed up and our one pound of our, our brisket fat that we mixed in there to give us an 80-20 mix on the uh, lean to fat ratio. So back in the freezer, let it firm up before we grind it. Alrighty, we just completed grinding up our, our meat, our beef, uh, bottom round with our little bit of some brisket fat. So we're gonna put this back in the refrigerator to keep it cool while we get our spices. Welcome back friends to the Max Q Barbecue Kitchen. Uh, we have our ingredients all measured up here in this cup for our Texas Hot Link sausage that we're gonna be making. Uh, we have 45 grams of salt. This is five pounds of ground meat, by the way. Uh, we have 23 grams of black coarse ground black pepper, uh, nine grams of garlic powder, eight grams of onion powder, six grams of ground mustard, uh, 10 grams of paprika, 11 grams of cayenne pepper, remember they're gonna be hot, and we've got three grams of sage, three grams of cumin, and now we're gonna add a half a cup of water to our mixture and start mixing in our ingredients. So we've got our mixer started. We start by just pouring in this water. Now if you like, you can add beer, you can add all kinds of other liquids to this, but it's getting late in the day, so we're just gonna use uh, water. So now that I've got that water in there to soften that meat up a little bit, I'm just gonna go around and add our dry ingredients. Now with this, every now and then I have to kind of lift up the, the bowl so it gives a little deeper cut on it. Right now I've got the bowl down as low as it'll go. So I'm just gonna work with this a little bit, mix it, and then when it's ready, we'll come back and make a patty and test it and see how it comes out. Folks, we have our limb natural hog casings. Uh, this is enough casings for 25 pounds, so we're only going to need a couple of uh, hanks or a couple of loops of this for our five pounds of sausage. We have our beef that's been uh, chilling out in the freezer. It's all mixed up, ready to go. We're going to put it in our stuffer, and then we're going to stuff some casings.
this up, get this casing loaded up. friends there you have it there's our texas hot links all stuck and we're going to go put those in the refrigerator and let them dry and bloom overnight all right we'll see you back tomorrow our pit's kind of stabilized now at about 150 degrees which is perfect for this phase of our uh, cook which is we just want to dry out the sausage so let's go ahead and start getting the sausage on the pit See, I've just kind of got it looped and then laying down on the grates. Uh, like I said, we're just trying to get it dried out. Okay, welcome back, friends. So it's been uh, 15 minutes since uh, we put the sausage on. And uh, now what we're going to do is I've filled up our smoke tube here. Our little smoke generator, little stainless steel smoke generator. I filled it up with uh, pecan pellets. And we're going to go ahead and get our torch, light one end of it place this down into our fire chamber so we can uh, start generating some smoke. Okay, we want to make sure we got a good uh, fire going on the end of our, our smoke tube. As you can see, it's burning there. So now we're gonna put this in our uh, pit and let it generate smoke. Let's open this up. Close it up. All right, that's all it takes, just let her burn. Okay, we just put the uh, smoke tube in the pit. So I just wanted to give you a little temperature readout here. So this is just a little above 110 degrees here. Up here at the top, it's about 140 degrees. And then over here on the right side next to our fire chamber, it's uh, also about 140 degrees. We have a thermometer at pit level, just where the sausage is, it's at 132. These are all really good temperatures to uh, dry out our sausage. Again, we're not trying to make it too hot. We just want to uh, make, a, make it dry and uh, firm up the casings. And then later we'll increase the temperature and bring it up to 140 degrees and then give it a splash in an ice bath. But uh, that's, that'll come later. All righty, so uh, there you go. It is uh, 10 minutes till 10 and uh, we're out here uh, making sausage. So I want to go ahead and put the probes in on the sausage and uh, take a look at our sausage. And you can see our sausage is kind of uh, taking on a lot of color up above. We'll go ahead and pass our temperature probes in just so we keep an eye on the temperature. We're still cooking very low and slow. Okay, it looks like our sausage is in that uh, 85 to 95 uh, degree range, which is good. Let's go ahead and get this closed down so our uh, smoke can work. Continue to dry out that sausage. Again, cooking it real slow because we're really trying to tighten up those uh, casings and uh, dry that sausage out a little bit. Uh, a little later in the cook, we'll start opening the air up to the fire and uh, heating it up when, we, uh, want, when, we're, when we're happy with the amount of smoke that we've been able to put on the sausage, then we'll go ahead and heat it up so we can get it cooked. But we wanna stay below 140 degrees on our sausage temperature because we don't wanna render that fat. So, uh, See you on the next check-in. All right, friends, it's been about three hours since we uh, put our sausage on the pit. So uh, 
it's uh, some of it's up to about 100 degrees 114 115 so we're gonna go in check on our sausage move it around so that it's uh, getting an even smoke so let's take a look Woo, boy that's starting to look really really pretty so let's see how we can move this around a little bit There you have it, friends. Our uh, Texas hot links here and our andouille on the back. It's taken up a great color. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, add a little wood to the fire and start gradually raising that temperature up so that we can uh, get this up to about 130, 140 degrees. But you can see that smoke is just beautiful uh, feeding that uh, fire. So uh, let me tend to the fire a little bit here. All right, got plenty of smoke there, plenty of fire. So uh, it should be ready to come off in the next half hour, 45 minutes. Okay, friends, some of our sausage is already up to temperature. So we're gonna start uh, temping some of our links and taking them off uh, and so they don't overcook. Let's see which ones are at temperature and need to come off. All right, this is not quite up to temp yet. All right, this over here appears to be up to temp. So we're gonna go ahead and separate our links here. Okay. Looks like there were only a couple that were uh, up to temperature, but we did get, the, uh, get them kind of evened out so we can rotate them a little bit. In the middle ones. So let's let them uh, let them get, let them cook some more. Alrighty, friends. Looks like our Texas hot links are up to our 140 degree temperature. So we're going to go ahead and take them off the grill and drop them in our ice water bath. And bring them inside and clean them up. Get them ready to pack up. Okay, friends, we've got all of our Texas hot link sausage off the grill and we iced it down, wiped it down, trimmed off the little nubs off the end of the sausage and uh, rested in the refrigerator uh, just to tighten it up. So let's go ahead and try some out and see how it came out. So I got a link out here. Look at that. Now this is a beef sausage. So take a look at that. Look how juicy that is. Well, let's see if I can get the right camera angle. Can you see the juice? All right, let's try that out, okay? Y'all didn't see that. <laughs> well, that is delicious. I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of people that will be very happy with those sausages on their plate. All righty. Thank you uh, for, I uh, hope you enjoyed our episode today and uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.